Newton. Back again to Zola. Survives the tackle. Wise. Clark out left. Hughes jostling for position in the middle here. Newton again. Di Matteo spinning away to our side of the pitch. Burley. Clark. Turns away from Ardley. This is Wise. Still got Clark outside him. And in the end, it's a tussle between Newton and Gale. And it is rather scrappy, you're right. He's got two to his right and two ahead of him. Sinclair, it's Wise with the shot. Sinclair to his right was screaming for it. Wise just gives him a look. Well, Vinny Jones and Ivan Leonardo were left stranded upfield. They had an extra man. Dennis Wise used the overlapping runner Sinclair. Got his shot on target, but uh, was straight at Sullivan. A comfortable save. And so does Vinny Jones. Oh, and Gross did well. It's come out to Cunningham. He had two players coming in on him, the goalkeeper, Marcus Gale. And that's floating to safety. Well, that was a test for the Scandinavian goalkeeper. The area now beyond Hughes. Di Matteo's in there too. Hardly for Wimbledon. Leboeuf. Oh, spreading it. But Cunningham read it. This is Steve Clark, and he can't get it forward to Wise. And Hardly for Wimbledon. Oh, it's hectic, isn't it? Wise. Burley's gone through the centre here for Chelsea, number 14, sets up Hughes. Zola's running on this side, Zola against Blackwell, and it's still Zola. Have been supported, Koku waits for a cross, so does Earl. That's Craig Burley got back very well for the header. But, uh, the offside track was broken again, I thought Marcus Girl might... Outside him, Zola is there coming in, so is Wise, taken away from him by Cunningham. So it was a good cross, but when the two people in there are Dennis Wise and Zola, I don't think a high ball's the answer. I think you'd better driving it across the face of the goal low. Steve Clark. And Leboeuf gets there first. Not a good delivery from Kimball. Now Gale. The header back for Leonardson to compete. Robbie Earl is there. Possibly the best effort of the half. Matteo puts it into the centre and it's cleared by Blackwell. Sullivan might have made a misjudgment there. Yeah, I think Di Matteo did see him coming. His just first touch put him a bit wide and he couldn't clip it because Sullivan by then was scampering back towards his goal. But he, he just covered it and once it was uh, not going to be an opportunity to get to it, he made the, uh, the return to the goal like, because early in the season because he, he did have one or two goals, didn't he, which sailed over his head. Signs that Chelsea might be getting their passing game going. This is Sinclair. It's Di Matteo! No, well won. That was a good chance. Matteo's inside him. He's got Wise going outside him now. Hughes in the middle with Burley. And it Hughes! Yes! Chelsea have scored! And who else could it be but Mark Hughes? Burley was injured in the scramble, but here, as Wise puts the ball in, Burley goes in first, it drops for Hughes, and Chelsea take the lead. Well, that's a great ball then from Zola to Wise, comes back across, Kimball blasts it away, it hits Hughes, drops kindly, and he tucks it in. This is a good cross, across the face of the six-yard box, Burley coming in, Kimball tries to volley it away, it hits Hughes, drops right on his foot, and he just tucks it away. All made, though, by a wonderful pass by Frank Leboeuf out of defence, across the field to Zola. It was a great ball by Leboeuf that started it. Craig Burley is off the pitch, receiving attention after being... Put down and given. Now then, what can they do from this one? Oh, Gross did ever so well. He punched clear from at least uh, two Wimbledon players who were coming in, but it is a corner, and the assault is now on. Kimball will come across this side now, and 
Ekoku goes to the far post. Marcus Gale to the near post. Earl to the penalty spot. Vinnie Jones is in there too. So is Chris Perry. There's the cross from Ardley. Here's Perry. Oh, and it's come loose to Jones. Ardley again now. Well, the flag was up there. The flag was up even before that cross came in. Leberth has reacted, had a pushing and shoving affair with Gale and Ekoku, but the whistle went well before that. There was a flag up on this side, probably for an offside, but Leberth didn't know that. I don't think Ekoku did, and when Grodos grabbed the ball, there was quite a scrap in there. I think it... it's drifting away from Ekoku. Leonardson tries to retrieve it, it's out. Well, hardly good scoop ball from Vinnie Jones there down the line rather than take the, the long throw, but that time he overhit it. And, Leonard... and Jonsson was in there. This is going to come out to Di Matteo, who stumbled over the ball now. A ball onto the left would have put Wimbledon in the clear, but instead it's Leberth. And Chelsea on the hunt again here. And is that going to be a penalty appeal? It is by Wise, but it won't be given. I don't think his little legs would quite get... Di Matteo! Well, it was unlucky. He hit it well enough. I still think he should have got it on target, but it was a super run again by Dennis Wise. Very similar to the goal when Zola was in possession before. This time it was Di Matteo. He make the overlap. It wasn't given this time, and the man in possession had the shot. But uh, there's Dennis Wise making the run, giving problems to the Wimbledon defence, and it was unlucky. And Burley headed it out in the end. Hughes, well, that was a dangerous moment for Chelsea, and here's Zola. They're getting a bit more space on the break now, Chelsea. It's going to be Wimbledon who will make the change when the ball goes out of play. This is Kimball. Akoku just bending his run here. Sinclair will let that run out. Now then. It's Chelsea's second. It's the Italian Gianfranco Zola. Is that the goal that points Chelsea in the direction of Wembley? Oh, it was his first major contribution. But the run he made was so clever. Well, this is quite magnificent turn. Blackwell completely wrong-footed, and he just drills it low into the corner. Sullivan, no chance. Di Matteo, look at the turn. He knows where he's going. His balance is magnificent and no chance at all. Wonderful, wonderful goal. The two Italians combining to put Chelsea 2-0 up in the semi-final. And it's uh, a pretty desperate cause here, but Gale for Wimbledon to Holdsworth. If they got one back quickly, you never know what might happen. But as it is, six... Dozola! Sparkling run. Well, it's, it's great when he's blowing in this game like this. So he was shackled a lot with the physical presence, I think, of the match in the first 45 minutes. But Ian Hughes now are, are linking up magnificently there. And, well, it must have hit a defender, I think, the shot, rather than Sullivan get the touch. But it's anyway a corner which Wise has collected now from Zola. Now that looked almost bound for the far corner and 3-0, didn't it? Here's Wise again. This is Eddie Newton. Short ball to Erland Jonsson in attack. That hit Vinnie Jones. Zola and Hughes to his right. This one's going to go to Zola. Hughes now spins outside him. There's Hughes, but Zola didn't quite get the touch on it. Good. Ekoku. They're hanging their heads, Wimbledon, they feel they missed a chance, but in fact, the flag was up. It wouldn't have been a goal. Well, that was the one that got away. Holdsworth should have done better with the first one, and then when it comes back to Gale, I think if that ends up in the back of the net, then it doesn't matter where a cuckoo is, but of course it bobbled across the face of the goal, and then he becomes active and was offside. It's gone far post. It's going to come out, I think, towards Dean Blackwell there. Wonderful play by the Italian, here's Di Matteo, it's Curl! And Sullivan's there. Well, they're playing well now, aren't they, Chelsea? Making Wimbledon work to try and get possession and then... And he just rather lost it there to Cunningham and it's Wimbledon who are able to break away in the last ten minutes now with Leonardson. 
just think we'll have to put this uh, performance of Zola's into context if it stays like this because, as you say, he is going to figure in some headlines. This is Kimball. And it's Holdsworth for Wimbledon. They're not finished. Ikoku was not helped by the cross, though. And it's just hit the roof of the net. It's going to be a corner. The deflection was off a Wimbledon player, says Mr Ashby. Zola pulls it. Two Wimbledon defenders and shut him down. Eddie Newton. And this. Mateo and Zola. It's really opened up here for Chelsea. Zola! should have been three really should have been three Zola and before him Di Matteo had so much room there against the tired and beleaguered Wimbledon defence uh, Zola could have just laid it to Dennis Wise quite honestly I think he feels he's in the boot just hit in the back of the net at any time but uh... Huser came off Chris Berry can he make it three yes he can it's Hughes again and Hullet's team are there now Hughes back at Wembley First year, 3 0 Chelsea, 2 for Mark Hughes. What a battler he is, and what an achiever he is. They thought he might have come from Manchester United on a bit of a sinecure, one or two people. How utterly wrong they were. He's playing some of the best football of his career, and that's the moment when the coach knows that Chelsea are in the FA Cup final for sure. To the laid back Mr. Hullet there, I think he's quite pleased. Well done to him. Mark Hughes, even confident enough to put it in with his left foot, and a convincing performance. Well, there'll be some great scenes here now. This has finished up as one of the most emphatic semi final victories, even though the first half hour of the match was so tight. But once Mark Hughes got the goal just before half time, the 43rd minute, things changed. Wimbledon had no answer to. Chelsea's imagination, but I think also Chelsea's competitiveness because they matched Wimbledon where everybody thought they might be weaker. In the air, on crosses, it was all there, and Zola just put the icing on the cake when they broke away. Leboeuf led the back four superbly. And also it would be nice to mention the late Matthew Harding, whose wife Ruth is there in the stand. Uh, the tragedy in the uh, helicopter accident cast a shadow over Chelsea for a while, but my goodness, how he would have enjoyed this day. And the fans are going to let it continue here for quite some time. Well, what a good tactical decision Hullet made. Dispensed with the five at the back and with the wing-backs, picked an orthodox back four, said to Wimbledon, right, stick it up in the air and we'll send it straight back. And that's what Chelsea did and the goal...